Hi, I'm Mr. Tie-Dye, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, how we lay our colors down. And one of the best tools that I have found is the color wheel. And they've got all different kinds. I got a really fancy one. It has lots of information on here, and it helps you mix colors. You don't need all of that, but I got it just because. This one here gives our complementary colors and tetra and split. Anyways, lots of info on this color wheel. But the main thing that we want to look at when you're trying to lay your colors down, if you're wanting to lay down orange and you want to lay down purple next to it, if you don't want the blend in between the two, then you can lay down a color in between. So your red or fuchsia would go in between that. If you're doing orange and green, then a yellow can go in between them. But also later in the video, I'm going to show you how I lay orange and purple right next to each other without getting too much blending. So that is possible. But this here color wheel will help you pick out your colors and what you can safely lay next to each other. So I recommend getting one. You don't have to get this fancy of a one, but these are a good tool. So, what I have here, t-shirt that I've tied up. So anytime that you have a design that you're doing, so basically you've tied off a section and you have a line, you're going to want to lay your color down. And if you don't want the blending, the way that I like to do color for a line is to start a little bit back from it and let the color naturally creep towards the line itself. So when I first lay it down, so if I'm going to do this bottom part in yellow, I'm going to lay the yellow down about a half inch from that line. And then I'm just going to keep on dyeing the rest of the shirt over here. While well, this here slowly kind of creeps however much is going to creep towards that line. Once I've got this all dyed, then I can go back with my yellow and just touch up. And I'll use a small bottle for this so that I can put just a little bit of extra dye on right up next to that line. But this is going to cut. If you start out right here at the line then the chances are the dye is going to spread into this other area. And if you have a color over here that you don't want it to mix with then you have a problem. So always start further back from the line then add that extra when you need it. Um, the other thing I like to do is layer my colors. And this here, I'm going to have some bits and pieces of other videos. I apologize if it kind of jumps around too much. But I'm just trying to get a lot of information into this one video. So, anyway, what I'll do is I'll lay my lighter color down first. And then you can take a darker color in that same type of shade. So, like, I wouldn't try to add... Uh, purple or uh, well I guess I could add blue but I'm gonna get green but I want to go in the same range so I'm gonna go anywhere from a dark yellow into a red or a fuchsia and you can lay that over top so the first color I'll soak the t-shirt a little bit more when I'm adding my secondary color I'll usually just go lightly over the top and that way you're gonna get that color it's gonna go in and blend some but there's still gonna be that yellow or whatever your base color is in there. So if you want to lay another color down that this isn't going, the yellow isn't going to blend with, you can put color in between. So right now I have kind of a yellow and an orange on here. So I get these colors in my shirt already and I want to lay down some red, violet, and violet colors. So the light and dark purple. So what I'm going to want to add in between is uh, this here says red because that's you know for painting but the primary color for tie-dye is fuchsia so I'm gonna lay down some pink in between here so I'm gonna just gonna color that line and that gives me just a little bit of a border so my my yellow and orange can kind of blend into the the fuchsia there and then I can lay down my other color. So this is my light purple. And I'll leave just a little bit of a line here. But I'll lay my light purple down and then my dark purple. 
and they'll both blend right up into that pink and there might still be a pink line left that you can see but sometimes if you get it just right they will blend into that line and the line almost disappears without having much but that takes some practice so this is just one of the ways I will also show you later in the video how I lay like purple and orange right next to each other and that way you don't have a, a color in between them you have just the two colors and just the slightest bit of blending so there's my light purple and then I'm gonna put a darker purple over top of this and then I can go back in here this here's already spread a little bit and I'll just add just a little bit more usually I use a small bottle for this but since I have that pink line in there I feel confident that I can put out just a little bit of dye and bring those two up next to each other so let's add just a little bit more purple so this is my small bottle and this allows me then to lay purple and orange or yellow right next to each other you think do the same thing with green and orange it's just a matter of picking the color that's in between what you want. So if you want to lay yellow and, <laughs> well, orange and blue, then you're going to want to lay some yellow down in between the orange and the blue, and that's going to give you then a little bit of a green line. So you can play with that however you like. Um... And then another thing, since this shirt here is going to be, the design is going to be on the front and the back, I have put two colors on each side already, and I want to add a third color in. Uh, and that can be done, since there's already a lot of dye in there, there's not going to be too much more that soaks in. So if I want to add a third darker color on top, I'm going to go over it just really lightly with the dye. So I'm going to put black over top of both of them and that also kind of ties the design together they're two complementary colors here and now I can tie them together so you're just gonna lightly go over this and it does look like you might be ruining the shirt but if you've added enough dye down inside the shirt this black is only gonna soak in so far so and I just found this out years ago through just playing and practicing experimenting and seeing what would happen so you're just gonna lightly go over that I'm not even hitting all of the spots because at some point the dye is just gonna start running out and puddling up so you don't want that to happen because it can only hold so much dye in there so much liquid will be held in the shirt and the rest and if I lift this up yeah you can see it's already just running off of there so uh, I'll have to just put a, a link to this in because I want to try to get this video up I've already made the other pieces and parts of the video and I'm gonna put up a survey if you have other questions about thy placement I just tried to kind of hit some of the topics of questions that I've been seeing either coming to me or coming across the tie-dye pages. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the rest of the video. Darker color on. Okay. The darker color on before the lighter color if you're putting colors that don't blend well. So I'm going to put my purple on here. And this is out how far the the orange so I'm gonna have orange right next to it but if I put the purple down first and let it spread then when I put my orange on it's gonna spread into the purple but it's not gonna really discolor the purple too much it's when the purple goes into the orange that it gets discolored and another way if you have the option you can put a color in between the purple and the orange you can put uh, a pink down 
just a little light line of it and then the pink and the purple will mix and the orange and the pink will mix and they the purple and the orange won't quite touch and you can do the same thing if you're doing like orange and green if you need those two colors next to each other you would put the green down first let it spread and then you could put the orange on in the same fashion I'm going to do here or you could put some yellow down next to the green and then lay your orange down next to the yellow and you'd have that same type of effect. It's basically putting another color in the middle there. So now we're going to go with our darker color here. This is our dark yellow. And then I'm going to put a strip of orange in there. And I'm going to start out just putting a, a tiny bit up here next to the purple. So I'm just kind of putting it on slow. Let me zoom in just a little bit for you there. And I'll turn this around. Okay, so now I'm just kind of coming right up to the purple. And I'm using this little bottle so I can put just a little, little bit on at a time. And I can see that the orange is just slightly discoloring this little bit of purple that spread. But that's not going to be that noticeable once you get the shirt all done and opened up. So this is how I will put colors next to each other that don't mix well. But when possible, I try to put colors that mix well next to each other to just avoid this entirely. And then once you get done going all the way along the purple line there then you can use your larger bottle to fill in the rest of this space here okay and another thing you can do if you want to add just a little bit of detail, um, I'm going to take my red and I'll put just a little bit in a paint tray here and use a foam brush and just dip a little bit in there and then you can just brush just a little bit of color on. You can go all the way down into the yellow there main thing when you do this is to make sure that you do both sides and if you this is with me folding just the middle of the front forward so this here is just going to be just on the front of the tee if you have folded the back of the tee in also this isn't going to be enough dye to penetrate all the way through so you'll have just the red lines on the front unless you go a little heavier with the dye so that it soaks through both layers. Anyway, 